everyone. First, I like to thank OECD for giving me the opportunity to talk a little bit of the economic analysis in merge investigation that we have carried out at CAD, the Brazilian Competition Authority. In December, at the 2020 Global Forum on Competition, we will have the chance to exchange our experience on this topic. In this video, I want to present how the Brazilian Competition Authority carries out economic analysis in merge investigations. First, explain the stages of merge review in Brazil and the whole of economics. Second, a crucial point is how to collect information and evidence to the merge investigation. And third, the importance of the combined perspective of the qualitative and quantitative analysis in merge review. So, let me explain the stages of merge review in Brazil and the whole of the Department of Economic Studies at CAD. A merge investigation starts at CAD's general superintendence, which classifies whether filings are fast track or no fast track cases based on predefined criteria and carry out, carries out the investigation. In practice, fast track cases are decided within two or three weeks from the filing. No fast uh, track cases can take up to a maximum of legal period of 11 months, but in practice, these cases take less than three months. The general superintendents can either clear a measure without restrictions or challenge it. In this case, the decision goes to the CAD tribunal. Moreover, uh, remedies have uh, always to be approved by the tribunal. The Department of Economic Studies on this term is in charge of assisting both the General Superintendents and the Tribunal by providing economic services for the decision maker. Nowadays, the Department of uh, Economic Studies has a staff uh, around of, uh, 30 collaborators and 80 of them are dedicated to major analysis. But uh, when several uh, mergers analysis are occurring at the same time, we are uh, flexible enough to allocate more economies for merger investigation cases. I need to emphasize that since 2015, we have doubled the staff in the Department of Economic Studies, and the idea is to keep increasing and training our economic team. Concerning the number of uh, economic technical opinions between 2015 and 2019, the department issued 43 technical opinions on proceedings related to metric reviews. This means that the department contributed to approximately half of the cases considered complex by the general superintendents. Most of these cases are reviewed by the tribunal. Here, our goal for the next years is to allocate even more economies and to issue economic te technical opinions to each complex case. One uh, important thing to, to mention is that even without an economic technical opinion, the Department of Economic Studies contributes informally in several other cases, including the no complex ones. The second point that I want to comment in this uh, video is the challenge of collecting information and evidence to the major investigation. Once a theory of harm has been formulated and information and evidence collected, we can put together theory and data collected to analyze the effects of mergers and make predictions. But to this end, when we question information directly from companies, we need to be clear in our request. A good initiative is to produce guidelines on this. The Brazilian Competition Authority produced a guide to show the best practice for request information from companies based on past successful experience. As well, we use also uh, international guidelines on this. This guide is focused on quantitative data. Now we are working on formulation of guidelines to collect and, and use qualitative evidence based on, on our uh, best uh, practice. 
The first step is, based on past case, it's useful to create a list of qualitative questions to be used in future cases. We need to have in mind that quality answers depends on the quality of questions. My third and last point in this video is to shed light on the importance of the combined approach of using qualitative and quantitative information in merger cases. It is always important to complement the quantitative analysis with qualitative evidence for the competition authority to base its decisions on all reliable and relevant evidence collected during the investigation process. Qualitative evidence and quantitative analysis should both support conclusions about whether a, mar a merger is uh, likely to harm competition. We take better advantage of quantitative analysis if it comes together with qualitative evidence. In our merger investigations, we analyze qualitative evidence in association in, with quantitative results. I think I have given you a brief overview of what we are going to discuss at the OECD 2020 Global Forum competition. See you soon. Bye-bye.